FMU, you are on the air. Hey, Tom, it's Pepe in Milwaukee. Hey, Pepe, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Doing okay. You getting ready for spring? Um. Coming. Yes, I am getting ready for spring. It might yeah, actually be here. Is the edge of the year actually? Spring is what? here. Spring is, is here. here. Yes. Okay, i got to mark my calendar. I'm really looking forward to the warmer weather just staying. All the blooming and stuff. Yeah, that's always Either nice. You're in bloom. Love's in bloom. Love, yeah, it is nice when, I guess, love could uh, love uh, can be in bloom, too, yes. Yeah, not for me, though. Not for you? Yeah. I'm sorry, Pepe. That's okay. Uh, so do you have something for the topic? Oh, no, I, I, I actually, I don't know what the topic, I was actually oh. calling because I, I, I heard you recently talking about that, that, that flick, uh, Clifford? Yes. Yeah, and I, I just happened to see it the other night. Really? Yeah, it was on at like 3 a.m. Oh, man. I had never seen it, I loved it. It's a great movie. It is. There's that one scene, <laughs> this cracks me up, um, it, it's when, um, Charles Boyer is talking to Mary Steam Virgin uh-huh. um, about kids. Yeah. And she's asking him why he doesn't like kids. And he goes, I love kids. As a matter of fact, I have a nephew I'm very fond of. Mm-hmm. And Mary Steam Virgin goes, oh, you mean your, nep- uh, your nephew Clifford? Uh-huh. Well, I think you're getting the scene wrong a little bit. Excuse me? You, you, you've kind of, you got the scene wrong. That's not what happened. What happens? He goes, and it's Charles Grodin, not Charles Boyer. I think it's Charles Boyer. It's, it's not Charles Boyer. It's spelled Boyer. Boyer. Maybe that's what's screwing you up. Um, well, no, it's Charles Grodin. But it's, um, she says, you don't even like kids. And he goes, I love kids. Are you kidding? Right. My nephew. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh. She and goes, she, you never uh, talked about your nephew. I know, yeah, I love that line. What's his name? Right. And he goes, I want to say Mason. And he goes, why no, would, Clifford. Why would he say, I want to say Mason? Because he couldn't, because he really doesn't care about his nephew. Why would you lie about that? Why would I lie about that? Or why would he, why would why anybody would he lie? lie about that? Oh, well, that's child. the whole thing. He's, he's not a perfect person in the movie, either. Oh. See, I thought it was funny because when when she says, you mean your nephew Clifford, mm-hmm. it, it puts you in mind of, of the cartoon cat Heathcliff. That's, uh, look, if that's what made you laugh about it, then... It did. Okay, well, I don't think it's what the filmmakers intended, but however you get a laugh is how you get a laugh. I got a laugh out of that. Yeah. Well, anyway, you know... I remember you talking about a uh, topic, um, who would you like to send into space? Yes. Well, I, I have... a while a, ago. Yeah, well, you know, I'm catching up on the archives. Okay. And I, 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 have an, I have an entree for that. Okay. Yeah. What is it, Pepe? Um, I'm not sure how you pronounce his name, but it, um, I, I think it's Gian Gomeshi? Gian Gomeshi. Yeah. I don't... I don't know who that is. Well, this guy's the scum of the earth. Uh huh. Jerk. I don't. I, okay. I have names for guys like this. This guy's like the ultimate low. Uh huh. Goon. Uh huh. Creep. Creep. Wow. I I have no Rapist. idea. Who, okay. I have no idea who. Gian. What was it? Gian Gomeshi. Gomeshi. You've never heard of this guy? No. You're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. Well, he's the guy who interviewed my favorite rock group last week. Your favorite rock group? Yeah. I, I'm not sure. Who who was your favorite rock group? The Boxmasters. Why? <laughs> oh, yeah, I did. I I saw that. Yeah. That was uh. That that was that's the the Billy Bob Thornton interview. That everybody's Ooh. kind of been running on on. Uh, YouTube. Who'd you say? Billy Bob Thornton. Are you talking about Bud? Billy, it was Billy Bob Thornton. What are you? What are you calling him? His name. His name is Billy Bob Thornton. No, it's W R Bud Thornton. What? What are you on about? What? I. I. You. You. 
that's what he, is that that I think that might be is that what he goes as in the band? That's his name, W. R. Bud Thornton. And I gotta tell you, this mm-hmm. this cat, this this Gomeshi guy, mm-hmm. he needs to apologize not only to the band but the world. Really? So so rude. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, you know, in the scheme of things, I I might disagree with you a little bit, Pepe. Well, here. Why? Um, because I I kind of didn't think you know. You have the guy on on your show. I didn't think asking him, you know, or kind of referencing his film career, I didn't think was so out of line in in the context of an interview like that. Yeah, what film career? What's that? What film career? What for Billy Bob Thornton? For Bud. Yeah, what? Yeah. Well, <laughs> that, I mean that's that's kind of what he's, <laughs> he's he, that is what he's known for, though, is being a movie star and a screenwriter. <laughs> okay. First of all, yeah. once again, the name W.R. Bud Thornton. And, and I'm going to say this right now. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not candy coat this, okay? Uh-huh, okay. If, if you insist on calling him by some casual, disrespectful name, I'm going to be forced to, at the very least, hang up on you and most probably file suit against you. <laughs> really? And your listeners. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because I'm calling him Billy Bob I Thornton. I can't... This Billy... Billy Bob... Billy Bob. Is yeah. that what you're saying? I yeah. can't even... I can't even say it. It's such a laughable name. Uh-huh. It's like a character from that TV program, Hee Haw. Uh-huh. Well, he... <laughs> He, he, neither here nor there. Well, he's the drummer for the Boxmasters. No, he. Yes, he is the drummer for the Boxmasters, but he is kind of uh, pretty well known for his, uh, you know, his his his, 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 his uh, movie career. Really? Well, name one. Name one movie he's one done. One movie, yeah, that Bud's been in. Um. Armageddon. Don't know it. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, Sling Blade. Swing. Swing. What is it? Sling Blade. Swing Blades. Yeah. I don't know that either. Bad Santa. Sounds like a John Goodman movie. What is that? Uh-huh. Well, no, it was a movie. It's it's a movie where he played a mall Santa. Okay, I'm going to IDMB this. Uh-huh. School for Scoundrels. Do you know that one? That's Jack Black. <laughs> no. <it's not. laughs> crack, crack, crack a cinema much. It doesn't sound like you do. Uh-huh. Well, no, that's, uh, that's kind of, uh, it's, that's not the same movie. No, it's where he teach, uh, where Jack Black teaches people how to, how to uh, play music. No, it's, that's not the same movie. Okay. He was, in a movie, he was in a movie, Pushing Tin. None of these ring a bell? Pushing Tin. Oh, no, that, that's, that's Danny DeVito. Or they're, it's in the 50s or something, no, and then they're selling siding. That's Tin Man. Jeez, you don't know what you're doing. No. Um, he, he's been in a lot of different... Uh, Primary Colors was a movie he did a part in. Primary Colors. He partied? Okay, Primary. You don't know any of these things. No, but you know, now that I think of this... Mm-hmm. This is, you know, it's kind of jogging something. It kind of uh-huh. rings a bell. I read in this online forum about the Boxmasters. Yeah. Uh, about them possibly appearing in a movie. Uh huh. But I, I assumed it was just going to be, you know, them playing in the background of a scene. You know, maybe getting like one dialogue uh, line each. Mm-hmm. Like when that rock group Mud Honey appeared in that in that film Black Sheep. Yeah, the yeah. Chris Farley movie. There's a great scene where their former bassist uh, M. L. Lucan. Mm-hmm. Um, he calls their guitar player <laughs> Stefan R. Turner a, a jagoff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love no, that. Being... The, great. That's not. Oh. No, this guy's an actor. Well, I, I, I mean, check, I, 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 I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call B, B uh, S hit on this. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. You've never heard of Billy Bob Thornton? No. And you, yet you're a fan of this band. Look, you piece of low grade filth. What? I am a massive fan of J.D. Andrew and Mike Butler. What's that? You heard me. I'm a massive fan of J.D. Andrew and Mike Butler. 
Who are they? The other two box masters? They're the main guys in the box masters. You munch, crack mod Billy much? It doesn't sound like you do. What is mod Billy? What is mod Billy? Ask uh, call screener. Um, what's her name? The guy. The it's that, I couldn't tell if it was a guy or a girl. It's, it's a guy. His name's it's Mike. Michelle, right? No, it's Mike. Oh, because I thought he slash she was was coming on to me. Oh, I, what? Look, I don't know about that. Yeah. that ask, ask him about Mod Billy. Do you know about Mod Billy, Mike? He doesn't know anything about it. What is that? Is that what they call their their sound? It's their new album. Mod Billy. Jeepers Creepers. Mod Billy. So you're a fan of the other two guys? Absolutely. I uh, I actually met them. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, we're good buds now. But I, I met them on this men's retreat out in the woods. Uh huh. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah. <laughs> what, what were the circumstances uh, behind that? Well, you know, it's one of those retreats where you go and you you try to you know uh, you know reconnect with your uh, your guyness. Mm -hmm. And so I'm walking around the woods and I'm screaming for my last uh, lost manhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. And I, my screams were so loud and piercing. I was told that that everyone was just kind of drawn to it. Uh huh. Especially those two. Really? They so they heard you yelling. Uh, uh, it is more of like a scream. Uh huh. Yeah. For your lost torrent, a torrent of screaming. Yeah. yeah. For your lost manhood. Absolutely. Yeah. And then that's how that's how you got to know these guys, the other two oh, yeah. guys in the box masters. Oh yeah. Uh, we started talking, and you know, we hit it off, and we started, you know, uh, you know, they had these big campfires at the end of the day. Uh huh. Yeah. So uh, we're just kind of sitting around making up songs. Mm hmm. Yeah, I had this really good song that everyone loved. What was that? What was it called? Well, it was called "Father, Why Did You Spank Me." Mm hmm. Yeah, I, I actually changed the title from its, its original title. Ugh, I don't want to even know what that was. Oh, come on. No. It's not dirty. Okay, good. I'm glad it's not dirty. Yeah. It was originally called Senator Cole, Why Did You Spank Me? Who? Senator Cole. Who is Senator Cole? Long story. Um, you know, I grew, I grew up in, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a lifelong resident of Wisconsin. Uh-huh. And in 1991, I had the opportunity to meet our beloved senator mm -hmm. through the local 4-H program. Okay. Yeah. I, I raise uh, various kinds of ostriches. Okay. And and so a bunch of us in 4-H got to meet Senator Cole when he came to the county fair. Yeah. And we're having this big photo taken, you know, of all the 4-H kids and, and the senator. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, I happened to be wearing a shirt by my favorite rock group. What group was that? The Murder Junkies. The what? The Murder Junkies. The Murder Junkies. Yeah. Okay. And, and what uh, happened with that? Well, as you can imagine, Senator Cole took offense to the shirt, and he scolded me harshly. Uh-huh. And he demands I change the shirt. Yeah. And I did have other shirts with me. Mm-hmm. But the only problem was the second shirt that I, I, I put on. Yeah. It was for my next favorite band. Yeah. What, what band? The Texas Nazis. The Texas Nazis. Yeah. The other G.G. Allen band and then he demanded I change into another shirt yeah and I actually had another shirt yeah but it was for another band and what band the scum no I mean I can't even the scum F. yeah you can't even go there and then I had another shirt for this the, the Cedar Street S's <laughs> okay good. and then finally I thought yeah. okay this is the per I, I've got a shirt that he can tolerate yeah and it was for this thing called the Jabbers. Okay. Only problem was that the picture was a picture of Gigi making a poop. Uh, I don't want to know. And then Senator took me over his knee. Yeah. And he spanked me. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's horrifying. I know. I still can't believe it's been so long since he passed on. Are you okay? <laughs> it, it, look, it was a, it was a shock. I know. It's been hard on all of us. It has, it has. Anyway, so so JD and Mike and I were singing these songs. We were and we we're kind of riffing. Yeah. And it was great. I'll tell you, Mike. He is an S hot guitar picker. 
Uh huh. Okay. He was fire. He was firing these okay. pickings off that were s hot. Okay, I don't. I care mean, what? I mean, people say that that Stevie Ray. Well, that, 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 I don't was, care. I don't care. I, I, I hate that phrase. Stevie Ray Vaughan, he's dead. How can you say that? No, I didn't say I hate Stevie Ray Vaughan. But what do you hate then? I hate that hot phrase you're using. What s hot? Stop it. What? Seriously, stop it. Okay. So, so he's a good guitar player. Is what you oh, mean? He's to a say. Mate? Ma- oh, he's a What's his name? Mike. Yeah. Yes. Okay. He's the guitar player for the group. Yes. Okay. So. So, re- so just getting back to this, you are, you are a fan of this this group, the Box Absolute. Masters. Just They're a, brilliant. A straight up fan, not, but not at all because the the drummer is in in uh, movies and stuff. Uh, which I'm still going to debate. I, uh-huh. I uh, you know, the, I'm from uh, Michigan on this. Uh huh. Yeah. And that's that's show it to me. Because that's kind of the, the show thing. it to me state. Okay. The, the show it to me state. Yeah. Great. He <laughs> he is because this band it's like a hobby thing for this guy between movies. No, it's not. The, yes, it, it kind of is. It's his first love. He said so in that interview. The box... Look, whatever. Music. Music. Sure. Okay. That, it, 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 people have these vanity bands that they kind of do, and they are not always the, the you know, the... You're right? I don't like what you're, what you're saying. These guys are our generation's radio head. Really? But vibier. These those guys. Oh yeah. So you think that they are that dedicated to music? Absolutely, they're great live. Uh huh. You've seen them live? Uh, only about sixty-seven times. You piece of fudge. You've seen, <laughs> you've seen the Boxmasters sixty-seven times. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Really? Absolutely, yeah. Now, can I can I just ask you a question? You see them sure. when you see them. Mm-hmm. There's nothing about these shows at all that would lead you to believe that maybe someone in the band was a movie star. Not at all. What are, what are you getting at? Okay, I I just so it's, it's just like a regular show. Are you are you going to are you going to look me in the eye and tell me that? You've never gone to your local 500 capacity rock club mm-hmm. and had to sign three different agreements just to enter. Agreements? What kind of yeah. agreement? Well, it's like this piece of paper, and it says, you know, I, all right, like basically, I, the undersigned, will not take any cell phone photos. Uh huh. I will not uh, make any references to something called French fried potatoes. What is that? <laughs> That's uh. That is uh, a reference to a line in one of his movies. Oh, well. He actually makes people sign uh, a thing. Just, that... I'm gonna, just, I, I thought it was just something that he he doesn't like French fries or something. Uh-huh. And the third one is uh, you will uh, I will look at each member of the box masters for an equal amount of time. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the, yeah. And you have to sign those before you go to the show. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh-huh. I do it willingly. Uh huh. And are you also going to tell me that you've never been frisked? Four different times at a rock show? Uh, no, I haven't. Really? Uh huh. Yeah. It's funny. Every show I've gone, I've gone to theirs. You get frisked uh, in line. You know, uh-huh. you're going in. Yeah. And then you get frisked at the front door as you enter. Yeah. And then as you enter the bathroom, as you come out of the bathroom, also. Okay. And sometimes on the dance floor. Really? Yeah. They frisk you to, for for looking for what? I I don't, I don't know. I, I keep hearing rumblings about uh, about. Uh, Movie cameras and okay. something about something called um, Entertainment Tonight. Uh huh. Yeah. That's a yeah. Okay. Yeah. Eat, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, let's let the music do the talking. Uh huh. Put on something from their new album. I I uh, I sent you a file. You just said, is in, that me? Did, did you email it to me? I did. Look in your box, okay. master. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Okay. I'm sorry. Wow. You... <laughs> You're not my master, though. Okay. Fair yeah. enough. I was. Yeah. I, Look, I'm. I do not want to be your master. You sent me. JD is. JD is my master mm-hmm. from the. He's my master. Oh, he's your master. And he'll be your master after you hear this song. Uh huh. All right. Uh, let me play this. 
Let me uh, bring this up now. Okay. I don't mind other guys dancing with my girl. That's fine. I know I'm all pretty well. But I know sometimes I must get out in the light. Better leave her behind with the kids. They're all right. The kids are all right. Okay, I think we heard about enough of that. Hello? Isn't that amazing? Is what amazing? Is that not the best songwriting you've heard in ages? Those lyrics, I mean, it's like, who doesn't want to get away? Mm-hmm. The ultimate oh. vacation song. What's that? It's the ultimate, the ultimate vacation? vacation. just like cutting loose. Uh-huh. Well, you, <laughs> that... No one's, no one's writing songs like that. Yeah, right well, they didn't, they didn't write that, including Is, them. What? They didn't write that. Who didn't? That's a Boxmaster song. Yeah, they might play it. They didn't write the Who song. Excuse me? That's a Who song. Yeah, it's the Boxmasters. No, the Who wrote that. The Boxmasters. No, this is not uh, Abbott and Costello. I'm telling you. I didn't say it was Elvis Costello. No. It's the Boxmasters, you no. munch. A band called The Who... It's not the call, and it's not the band. It's okay. the box man. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Jeepers, gonna, creepers. Get I'm out not, of upstate New York. <laughs> what's that? Jeepers. I said, get out of upstate New York. The call, the band. Uh huh. Come on. No, I'm not. The box masters. Yeah, this is not. It's not the knot. It's not the band from Boston called the knot. Please, please, please stop. It's a band <laughs> called the box. Uh, the who. It is the box master. No, it's the the who wrote that. The who. Yeah. Oh, you better, you better, you bet. Yeah, yeah. The, you those guys. It's not on that album. I know it's not. That yeah. album's called It's Hard. Yeah. No, it's, it's not. It's, it's called Who? It, no, it's called Face Dances. Face Dances. Yeah. Yeah, I like that record. You like that one? I do. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not on that one. It was it was on one of their early records? But that that's neither here nor there. That's okay. Not the, okay. Well, school me. They didn't write that. The Boxmasters did not write that. That is a song from the 60s by The Who. Okay. And uh, I'm actually looking here at this uh, Boxmasters thing, Mod Billy. Yeah. It's, two, it's a great album. It's a two-disc set, apparently. It's great. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the whole second disc looks like cover songs. What do you mean? Like songs that they didn't write? Yeah. You know, that is kind of weird. Why is that? Now that I think about it? Yeah. Because all the songs on the first CD? Yeah. They were a little weak, I guess. Uh huh. Yeah, they, did, they, they wrote those. Or they're weaker than the second disc, anyway, uh-huh. I should say. Yeah, well, know? the second disc, those are songs they did not write. But that doesn't matter because the, it, the live show is what it's all about. That's what it's all about for the, yeah. for the box masters? Absolutely, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just, um,. Shame I can't see them anymore. What's that? It's a shame I can't see them anymore. You can't see them. No. Why? Why is that? Well, I'm kind of banned from their shows. Uh huh. Yeah. You're you're banned from Boxmaster shows. Yeah. And why is that? It was this really minor thing. Uh huh. Well, the last time I saw them, yeah, I hacked into their sound system. Uh huh. You know, kind of with my own mic. I had yeah. like one of those headset mics. Yeah. And I pretty much talked throughout the entire show. So you talked? Well, it wasn't so much talking. I was hyping. I was hyping the crowd up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, like, like saying what? Well, I was trying to get get them to lose their their ass, you know. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm really good at it. You know, just kind of, you know, just like 
Box masters give it all up. So you're saying that during, like, when they finish a song, you start yelling that? No, during the song. Why? Well, of course you would get thrown out for that. I'm really good at it, though. At, at hyping the crowd. Oh, yeah, I do it at most of the shows I, I, I used to go to. And I, I also, I love to go to these uh, ska shows. Uh-huh. And I, I out do the pick it up guy. Really? Yeah, you know how they have the guy goes, pick it up, pick it up. Yeah. Yeah. You, you how do you outdo him? I just, I just do it louder and longer. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, or faster, pick it up, pick it up. This is also with a different, with your own mic? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, it's great, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you I've, get... been kicked, I've been kicked out, out of shows by the English Beat. Uh-huh. That guy, Dave Wakeling. Yeah. He has vowed in several interviews that he's going to kill me. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you uh, ruin his shows. Oh, yeah. No, uh-huh. no I, I, he thinks I do. Uh-huh. I think I'm helping. You think you're helping. Oh, yeah. Bad mm-hmm. manners? Uh-huh. Oh, my God, that guy, uh, Buster Blood Vessel? Yeah. I'm on his ass hit list. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, you know, I can outrun him on my on my worst day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. he's a big guy. And this, this has been uh, uh, Jerry Dammers and the Special Boys? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, and the Specials. Yeah. No, Special Boys. It's his side thing. Okay. He won't play with the Specials. They're doing this big reunion show. They are? Yeah, like a whole tour. Really? He don't want to do it. He didn't want to do it. He don't oh. want to do it, yeah. He don't want to do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And <laughs> but, also Chris... And also Chrissy Boy's Madness. Uh huh. Yeah. So you you they go. All, they all they're all mad at me. Because you go there and you you bring your own microphone. Yeah, and I pick it up big time. Mm-hmm. Pick it up, pick it up. Okay. Wow. Will you do it once for me? <laughs> What's that? Pick it up. I can't. You're, you're good at ska. You're in ska. Come on. What's your favorite ska song? Our house. I knew it. I love that song. Yeah, that's the a ultimate good one. Ska, it's the ultimate ska song. Yeah. It's got that ska beat. I, I think so, too. That really... Our house in the middle of our street. Yeah. Yeah. So that so that So this is what you do with these ska shows and apparently now Boxmasters shows. Well, not anymore. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Just two bros talking, right? Sure. I don't really love the Boxmasters that much. Really? Yeah. And why, why is that? Well, up until now, they were one of the few bands that I could actually see. Mm-hmm. Because of my being banned. Okay. Yeah, I am not well-loved uh, by pretty much any of the venues in Milwaukee. So the, that was one of the only bands that you could still manage to get into their shows. Yeah, yeah, because uh-huh. they would play, they play like offbeat venues, but like the Rave or the Paps Theater or the Cellular Arena, the Unicorn. Uh-huh. 86th. So you'd man yeah, okay, so... You know, I'm actually in the, in the Grimness Book of World Records. You're in the Guinness Book of World Records. No, the Grimness Book of World Records. The gr- what is the Grimness Book of World Records? It's only the second biggest uh, world record book. <laughs> After the Guinness Book? Uh, go into Bordner's books much? It doesn't uh, sound like you do. Yeah, I don't go to Bordner's a whole lot. Yeah. So, so this is your thing, apparently. Well... Like, is that what you're in the in the Grimness book for? Yeah, I've been ejected from over 3,000 rock concerts over the last 20 years. Really? Oh, yeah. 3,000 shows? Yeah. Probably more. Mm-hmm. Those are the ones that are, you know, are, uh, what do you call it, uh, verified. Uh-huh. Like, like who? Oh, Jeepers. Uh, Rolling Stones, Anthrax, Delight. Van Halen, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Kraftwerk, uh, Jeez, Pavement, Luther Vandross, Skin Yard, Bonnie Raitt, Guided by Voices, uh, Ellen DeGeneres, uh, Cat Power, Tinsley Ellis, Smog, The Who, JFA, Paul McCartney, uh, Bonnie Ver, uh, De Kreutzen, Frogs, Hooters, Take Six, uh, Tar, Jeez, Peter Cetera, Buster Poindexter, Merrill Allen, Stink Sexter, 69, A.C. Newman, uh, Rick Moranis, uh, Del Fuegos, who else? Uh, Carnivore, Minutemen, She and Him, Winger, Swinging Neckbreakers, Kip Winger, Spoken Word, Jim Rose Circus, um, Al Yankovic, 
Can we keep going or what? Look, uh, that is a fascinating list. I've never heard a uh, more diverse lineup. I love music. Yeah. I love entertainment. Well, I want to be entertained. <laughs> but those are all shows you've been thrown out of. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Well, well I, I, see, here's my, here's my thing. Here's, here's my vibe. Yeah? I want to bring excitement to the show. Uh-huh. And if the band or the crowd is starting to flag, i gotta, I got I to gotta represent Okay. As they, as they say. Yeah. Yeah. These crowds, like, you know, in, in 2009, it's like, show us what you got. I paid 80 bucks for the show. Entertain me. Yeah. And they start. They start. They, they, they need our support, Tom. What's that? They need our support. It's hard for them. So you, you, know? that you look at this as being uh, you helping, not Absolutely. hurting. Absolutely. It's my job. Mm-hmm. I'll do whatever it takes. And, like, how? what are some of the circumstances in which you've been... Like that have uh, that have uh, earned you uh, ejection from a show. Well, like I said, if, if a crowd is not happening, if they're if they're just you know the, they're not they're not vibing it, I'll mm-hmm. I'll try to get a chant going. Uh huh. Oh, which know? is fine. That's yeah. Or I'll I'll I'll, I'll be good. come on guys, let's get clapping. Yeah, yeah. You know, show Bonnie Raitt some some love. Uh huh. You know, clap. Yeah. You know, it's bluesy. Sure. Get the blues going. Okay. Tom, get the blues going with me. <laughs> I can't get the blues <laughs> going with you. Let's give them something to talk about. Come on. Are you ready for the thing called love? So all you're doing is getting a clap going? Every time I turn around, I find I'm shocked. I'll do that. I did mm-hmm. that before. Every time, every time, every time. And that's all Her, you do. babe. I mean... I gotta say, I think this is not fair. If if all you're doing is getting a chant or a clap going, I, I know I, I'll, I'll get a wave going. Uh huh. You know, uh, just you know, just trying to get people to vibe. You know, I'll, yeah. I'll whip tennis balls at people's chests. Uh huh. Well, that's not cool. I'll take people's shirts off. <laughs> that's horrible. Sometimes it's guys. Uh huh. Boys. Okay. Yeah. So, um. Oftentimes, I'll take my own pants off. And I'll, I'll swing them over my head, mm-hmm. like it's kind of a space lasso. Yeah, you know. And then I put them on backwards, and I'll, I'll kind of jump around up and down the aisle. Uh huh. It's kind of an homage to my favorite singer, Christopher Cross. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's kind of unacceptable in a public venue. What do you mean? To they take call your, me. They take call your... me front back pockets. Yeah. Well, you're taking your clothes off. Well, I put them back on eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's like eight songs later, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's yeah. horrible. When it was great when um, when the Hooters played. Uh huh. This was this was like maybe ten years ago or so. Yeah. Yeah. I took them off first song. Uh huh. And we danced. Yeah. I didn't put them back on until All You Zombies. Which I'm assuming is final encore. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you got thrown out. I'm hoping. Oh yeah. Good. Well, you can't do that hey. in a public place. Well, what usually does it? Yeah. What what usually gets me out? Yeah. I'll go up on stage. Okay. Yeah. And That'll I'll, I'll do play, it. Yeah. I'll play air organ with the band. Uh huh. Yeah. It, it usually starts off as air keyboards, like kind of like I got like a multi-tier keyboard set up. It's sure. imaginary. Yeah. It's like, like air a guitar. Keith, like a Keith Emerson kind of thing. Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'll be like pounding away, you know, and mm-hmm. then it gets a little more sensuous. Ugh. Yeah. Cheryl Crow was particularly upset. With yeah, me. I, I don't blame yeah. her. Yeah. It that's, gets kind of erotic. Uh-huh. And that's kind of that's kind of what gets you you chucked from these shows. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, good. That's well, that's there's a line and you're clearly crossing it. I don't know. Oh jeez. Oh boy. What's that? I think I might have to roll in a second. Yeah. It looks like I'm getting thrown out of this show. What show? I'm actually at a, at a show right now. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's at, it's at Brewers. Uh-huh. It's a local uh, Milwaukee coffee shop. Yeah. Yeah, there's this Christian folk duo mm-hmm. playing right now. Okay. Robert and Luke. Okay. Yeah. And uh, while I was talking to you, I was trying to get the crowd going mm-hmm. with my patented crowd dousing routine. C- crowd dousing. Yeah. What is crowd dousing? Well, I take out my whipple. Yeah, they're, 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 goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye. 
My God. 3,000 shows. Unbelievable. 